Hey guys, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Trust you guys are all doing well. So I've got a special treat, a special guest. We got Mark Thomas, uh, the builder here. It is awesome. So a little different video for you guys. If, uh, if you guys are new to my channel, I love doing lawn care and landscaping videos and talking to you about the business, the industry. I always do business tips and mindset videos and just pour back into you guys with lawn care and landscaping. But right here, we got one of my good friends, good buddies. Uh, we actually became friends, part of the Echo UAG program in 2017, which is a really cool opportunity really cool experience but long story short uh, me and Mark we've been texting back and forth uh, on Instagram and other uh, social media trying to connect and to do a collaboration video I happened to be in his neck of the woods and you know what we finally made it happen so long story short I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, reviewing products reviewing tools social media and a lot of typical questions I get asked from you guys that um, Mark here is like getting baptized by fire he's grown a very successful YouTube channel a a very successful uh, social media following. Uh, we'll make sure to leave all the links in the description. If you guys uh, really enjoy this stuff and you guys really enjoy Mark, make sure you subscribe to his channel by the end of this video, okay? Uh, but I wanted to ask you some good questions, or hopefully they're good questions, right? Uh, and this is just an impromptu. I've got no notes, uh, but we were talking off camera and I said, Mark, that's the kind of stuff that people want to know. So let's take it back and let's just kind of tell your story here for a few minutes. Uh, just maybe share with these guys. Let's talk about um, how long ago was it that you got on YouTube and social media? Like, just really simple stuff. Like, how long have you been doing YouTube and reviews and all that kind of stuff? The way that I actually started out, I've been a home builder with modular homes and prefab homes, and I've done some home demolition projects. Mm -hmm. So I was actually going out to Carson City, Michigan, and we were demolishing that home that day, and I was meeting the excavator there. I've done a few other demolitions with him, but he just is pretty awesome, like watching the claws of an excavator like, tear into the roof for the first time. Amen. So these, the people, the family, they were so excited to get this house completely ripped up, torn down, and like a whole day we'll, we'll completely demolish it, haul it away, okay. and then we start fresh like from there. Uh, so the whole family was there, they're all sitting in lawn chairs around the house, and I said, oh, I should go grab my camera out of the truck. Sure. I grab it and I'm like, hey Mark, the excavator, I'm like, you mind if I stand over here and get a good angle at it? And yeah. So I took a three and a half minute video, hardly any talking, um, if you want to put a link down to it. Yeah, we'll have to, it's on my other videos. channel. Okay. It it's, uh, um, doesn't really have much of a following. Okay, sure. Um, but that one, that video ended up just kind of, in a sense, going viral, I guess. Yeah. You know, I wasn't really trying to do any type of promotion. I just put it out there and put like extreme home makeover or something like that. Okay. And then like in a short time, I'm like at 20,000 and somebody in the building industry, they said, oh my gosh, do you know like that video has 20,000? Wow. And then like shortly after that, it's like 40,000, 50,000, then like at 60,000, I got an email from yeah. YouTube sure. or from Google AdSense saying, hey, do you want to Monetize? Uh, yeah, monetize. Wow. And How about that? So I'm like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. So okay. I monetized and really nothing happened. It ended up getting up to, I think, like a, over 100,000 views. That's pretty and good. And then by the time I finally got signed on. Right. Uh, but I just remember like getting a $100 check no, in okay. the mail. How about that? And I'm like, that video was just very easy to do. Sure. And um, just a lot of fun. I, yeah, I just. So like seeing like making videos and actually getting like a little small check was yeah. kind of a big deal. Absolutely. So then that kind of started like, hey, I think I would like to do more things trying to sell homes. Uh, but around that time is when the home crunch, like 2008 to 2010, yep. um, the homes weren't selling anymore. So then I kind of just started turning to YouTube and uh, doing other things. And actually my video that's done the best is a backpack floor. Yeah, we're video. talking about yep. that. That's awesome. So right now that has like 560,000. Half a million views yeah. on so, a backpack blower video. So that was one, uh, my son Logan and I, we just put together these three backpack blowers and came up with sure. some tests and like I'm chasing the tennis ball. No kid, yeah. So that ended up, that's still like one of my like daily views when I check the analytics. That's still, still popping pop yeah, views yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So that's, in the top five, if you look at leaf floor comparison, no kidding. And Brian and I were talking that you're like you have like the second and third. Is that last right? Time I checked. That's yeah, funny right, right there. there. So, well, you guys know that's like a thing we have 
Leaf Tremors. 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 We're going to yep. be doing some leaf blower videos uh, this spring and next fall. That's a <laughs> fact. Um, so it, it's really interesting because a lot of people ask, like, how do you get started on YouTube and uh, social media and Instagram? I mean, uh, okay, so if you guys aren't aware, you're not exactly 19, right, or 17, right? So you're learning Instagram. Right. You're, yeah. You didn't grow up with YouTube. Mm -hmm. You didn't grow up with Instagram. Uh, but it's a very relatable topic, whether you're 17 and trying to get started on YouTube or you're 35. And, and whether you look at YouTube as just a way to join a community and the lawn care landscaping for indus uh, industry, for example. Uh, there's there's all kinds of communities you can belong to and join in. I love the lawn care community. You guys have been great. Um, but realistically, uh, whether you look at uh, YouTube as a business model as well, uh, that, that's an, another whole opportunity you can create with a, a good YouTube channel. And it was just really interesting to me because I love doing review products, uh, review videos, right? So a lot of companies have sent us stuff and uh, I'm really thankful obviously to all of you guys who've got the channel to where it is to, to be able to do that. Uh, but how did you get started specifically reviewing videos uh, with products, I should say? Did, was, there, was there companies sending you stuff? Was there stuff that you were purchasing? Were you doing it for the money? Were, you know, just shoot these guys straight because a lot of these guys, they're, here's what they're all thinking. I've got an iPhone 7, I've got a little family DSLR, um, maybe they've used some of these products. Does it have to be this huge technical review or, or is it just more something that you're just being authentic and helping people out with, with doing review videos? What do you think? I, I like to review things that I think are going to do very well. I don't like to like find an item and then just talk about how bad it is. So I pretty <laughs> thorough like making sure like this video is going to talk about something that's like a pretty high end thing typically. Sure. Um, I, I have had some companies that have reached out to me early on and my very first one was like a chainsaw accessory for measuring and it was like this rinky dink flag. They're not in business anymore. Okay. So okay. I made a video about that and once in a while some people will still comment like this thing is a joke. And so, <laughs> so I, I kind of have to learn as I go to just try to find items that I think I can really talk about well, things that I have uh, personal interest in doing. Sure. So sometimes I'm reaching out to companies, sometimes they're reaching out to me. Sure. So what's uh, so you've had uh, a lot of companies send you stuff over the years. Mm -hmm. um, some bigger companies, some smaller companies, right? Some newer, some uh, way more established, right? Uh, Echo is probably a really nice crown jewel for both yeah. of us and stuff like that, which, um, you know, long story short, we always tell people that um, number one, with, with Echo, we all applied for that program, right? Mm -hmm. um, they, they had a, an open invite list where you got to apply, whatever you want to call it. Um, but one big tip I can give a lot of you guys is uh, you have to grow a social media following big enough to attract a lot of these companies. And I'm going to give you guys the meat and potatoes. Uh, if you have a huge subscriber list and you guys are pulling some really stout views, companies are going to want to send you stuff to review. And mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. And you know what? A lot of these products that we get sent to us are really great to help us with our personal business. Um, very, I mean, I would venture to say very, very, very few people, especially the lawn care landscape community, are getting paid to endorse any one product. Uh, I don't get paid at all to endorse anything. Do you? You've, no. Have you done any paid sponsorships? Maybe one or two? I have. I've done some paid things through the FameBit website. Oh, yeah. Why don't you so, tell them about that? Because okay. that was really fa fascinating. You were telling okay. me about that. So that's kind of one way for me to have things to review. It, it would be hard for me to, like, to go around my house and find all these great things. Sure. And I can't go out and like buy all these great things. Right. Or, or approach multi-billion dollar companies. Yeah, yep. It, so yep. there is a website. Um, it's, it's now starting to really uh, grow, I think, that YouTube bottom out, it's FameBit, and at the time you had to have a thousand subscribers, okay. and then you submit a proposal to companies, you see like different things that you like. So one of the most recent ones I did was a high-end aluminum hitch that's okay. made of aircraft aluminum. That was a good video. Yeah, I Anderson, like that one. Anderson Anderson hitches. It is like a really high-end hitch, and it's something that I can use like sure. all the time this summer. So I submitted a proposal, they, they agreed to it yeah. and then I made the video, they liked it and so I got paid a little bit for it. Yeah, a little kickback. But it was, I'm not going to sell something if I don't truly believe in it. And that's, that that's Anderson cool. hitch is just like, you know, top of the mark. I, I saw that video, it was a really good video. Because mm -hmm. I saw that uh, that trailer hitch and I said, that looks pretty legit. <laughs> yeah, so if I'm going for my landscape trailer, which is a tandem axle, two and five sixteenths, yep. and I'm going out renting the log splitter, I can just turn it around and go the two inch ball, yep. lower it down, and that's pretty it cool. works great. 
No, that's really cool. I, and I just wanted to give you guys some practical examples, you know what I mean? Um, now, we're talking social media and marketing, and you know what, I just wanted to get Mark's opinion on a lot of stuff, because a lot of people ask me you know, questions all day long about you know, getting products sent to them, and you know what, that's truthfully not why I do YouTube at all. Um, you know, to be honest with you guys, uh, most of you guys know the brands I like and enjoy, and frankly, I have gotten very little products sent to me from those companies, but yet the companies that I don't spend my own money, my, uh, my own money on have sent me a lot of product to review, which is very interesting. Um, so, you know, it's just really fun listening to Mark's perspective because you've got a lot of videos. You were one of like the first, I don't know if you're one of the first, but one of the earlier adopters with YouTube. Like some of your videos are several years old and it's funny because you have very simple videos that, uh, they're nothing crazy. That's one, one thing I just want to tell you guys. You don't have to, you know, have this huge elaborate video camera and this elaborate editing skills, right? Yeah, it's a hundred dollar camera, a MacBook Pro. Get out of here. No uh, special software. I, you know, eventually, I, as I'm doing this, I want to get the better camera. I want to sure. get the better software. Reinvest. Yes. Yep. So yep. I'm always trying to grow, my, grow my tools and just my uh, my style and yeah. and learning how to now we got fancy drones yes, yes. now we got aerial shots and crazy mm -hmm. stuff which you have uh, a really good uh, um, uh, thing going on with the drones and tech reviews and that's another mm -hmm. niche to your channel which is really cool but you just you just got to go out and do it right it doesn't have to be anything fancy you know I think it's really fun uh, anybody can review products anybody can you know post post a video and the biggest thing I always try to tell people is just try to help people right mm -hmm. help, yeah. help people cut through the crap right I don't think you like any, any of the fluff I don't, I don't think you're a fluff guy right you know no. like c cut through the crud just get to the point and let people know is this product helping them or not helping them and this isn't a how-to on how to do review videos but I just want to let you guys know that if you're trying to get into social media and do videos that it's a lot easier than you think um, you just got to get out of your own way can, can I ask you a personal question sure let me ask you this one um, what about preconceived notions of like what people think or I always call it being a weirdo with a camera right uh, being out mm -hmm. in public or anything yeah. like that how, how, like social anxiety anything like that have you do you have any tips or anything any nuances that you've learned that could help people with let's say they want to do videos for lawn care landscaping let's say they want to review products or services or whatever you guys are into this is a very generic video um, any tips that you can give these guys on how to get over some of that stuff maybe not caring what people think or just having some fun with it not taking yourself too yeah. serious I, I would practice maybe outside your neighborhood a little bit okay go somewhere because in my neighborhood here, like a 15 mile radius, mm -hmm. I'll probably see somebody I know if I go to the store. That's true, that's true. So like when I'm vacationing, like we're in Chicago, it's just really easy and I-, I You don't, don't know anybody. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can be a weirdo with a camera. Yeah, yeah. they're not gonna be somebody that I know and say, hey, what are you doing with that camera? And have to explain the whole story. And that's funny. So I I found that to be like the, the best way. That's so a good I tip. Probably, I do a little bit, you know, around here, but initially to get comfortable, I would say just, Go where you don't know people. But you gotta just have fun with it, right? Mm -hmm. um, yep. So a any other tips or ideas that you got for these guys with reviewing products or um, the success you've had with your channels, any secrets that you wanna give out? You have a really good channel. Uh, huh. A lot of your videos, you have hundreds of thousands of views. I'm still trying to play catch up. Um, when we were in Echo, I, I didn't know who you were. We didn't. We haven't met before. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, who is this guy? Well, only to find out that his channel is like three times my size. <laughs> and so, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Humility here, right? So well, I'd like to learn how you grew your channel. In one year, Brian has done an amazing job. So I've followed a lot of different people since Echo, the UAG event, I really started getting to follow a lot of people in the landscape and sure. lawn care business. And I'm pretty active on Instagram with them as well, sure. too. So I had to congratulate you. Um, well, it's all for these guys. <laughs> this is the community. I, I appreciate all of you guys. <laughs> Thank I, you. I, I would like to ask you a question. Yeah, uh, go ahead, I'll, yeah. I'll go back to your question to me. Yeah. Uh, so you're, where are you at now? Like around 14, 13? 13, 14,000 subs. Okay. Yeah. So, for me, I'm not at 10 yet, but I'm going to be there pretty soon. Absolutely. I think 10 is kind of like a goal. I, I want to see, I'm going to be really excited to hit 10,000. Amen. Yeah. So how was that an important number for you? You're kind of a numbers guy. Yeah, I think. Or what number will get you excited? That's a good. Getting that silver play button. <laughs> that's funny. You know, I, you can tell where it's going. Um, yes. So I'm going to, yeah, yes. when you hit that number, I want to. Shout out. Yeah. Well, I want to like, <laughs> no, collaborate again with you. Absolutely. Well, I, my that's, that's a really fun question because uh, you guys know that I, I'm just a regular guy. Like, if you meet me in person, uh, I, I've off camera lost all credibility with Mark, okay? Because we were laughing for about two hours, literally, uh, with him and his, uh, his wife just hanging out, having fun. Yeah, it's 1.42 in the morning right now, by the way. Yeah, it's almost 2 a.m. And uh, he's got work, man. We got to get moving. But um, 
I think the coolest thing for me, literally, and I have screenshots, because I'm a nerd, of when we hit 100 subscribers. And literally, I was like, are you kidding me? We have 100 people that are like watching us. Yeah. And then, and, and I'm sure you remember the feeling too. You're like, 100 mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And then, literally, you, you guys can extrapolate it. It was, oh my God, 500. Um, and then, I think within our first seven, eight months, we hit 1,000 subscribers. And it was, it was really, really cool. By the way, all this, you guys got to remember the fact that uh, in 18 months, we've put out almost 300 videos. Yeah, you're cranking them out. I'm, cra I'm, I'm doing the mm -hmm. best I can to serve you guys. Um, I'm not making videos just to make them. I have literally uh, just wanted to pour back into the industry that has helped me become more successful, right? So I just wanted to pour back into all of you guys. Um, so think about this. Uh, Within our first year, we had 1,000 subs, and fast forward almost a year later, uh, nine or so months later, we're almost at 15,000 subs. So our channel is 10x uh, in the last 12 months, um, and it's just been absolutely crazy. I think uh, 5,000 subscribers was a huge benchmark because mm -hmm. uh, I was blown away, and uh, it was a really cool personal goal. 10,000 subscribers was awesome because I had about $1,500 in products that I wanted to give away to you guys that had been stockpiling. <laughs> I was like, I got all this stuff I want to give away to these people. Uh, so I was waiting for 10K. And uh, you guys haven't seen anything yet. Wait till we get, I want to say 15K, but you guys keep blowing up the channel, so it might be like a 20K subscriber giveaway. I don't know, whenever March, April hits. Uh, my personal goal this year, I would love to see like 25 to 35,000 subscribers. 50,000 would be, would be just epic. And uh, I'm not going to stop doing YouTube until I hit 100,000 subs because that just means that we're making that much more of an impact on all of you guys. And the sub count is cool, but it's really about the views. Um, and, and everybody knows that, yes, you can get paid off of YouTube and the income is getting better, uh, but that's not why I do it. I couldn't care less. Uh, I did YouTube for the first 18 months, literally not making any money. Like literally, we didn't make a dime. Like we made maybe 50 bucks here, 20 bucks there. You know how the pay structure works. It's not the best when you have a small channel. But you know what? I didn't really care. I didn't do it for the free products. I figured stuff like that would come down the road. Uh, but you know, I really, when, when you have 18, 19, 20 year old kids commenting, hey, you're, you're changing my life and hey dude, because of you, I'm able to do this, this and this and they have self-confidence and they're, they're learning more about business and entrepreneurism and capitalism and free enterprise. I think that is the most intangible thing that you can get out of doing something like this, which is I'm sowing my life into you guys and you guys are able to take what I'm teaching you and whether it's good or bad or basic or, or really advanced, which I know it's just kind of more fun and entertaining, but I'd hope to just encourage you guys to just, you know, maybe meet you guys two, three, four years down the road at GIE, mm -hmm. right? And just uh, know that maybe we had just one puzzle piece that I could put in play for you guys to help you with uh, making your business and your life more successful. It's not just a long care channel if you guys have caught the drift. Uh, we, me and my wife, we really believe in small business owners and capitalism and uh, free enterprise and teaching you guys how to be more successful. And you know what? That's why I love hanging out with guys like Mark. You know, he's, he's self-employed and he's got, he's got things that he does on the side where he's hustling and he's figuring it out. And you know what? Uh, it's just really cool to see other people out there in the YouTube community working together, making it happen. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that answers your question. Yeah, it does. That's, I think what you're doing is definitely changing people's past where they're going their careers. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I've had uh, the major blessing of having good people pour into me. And by the way, about you know, 500 self-help books, as you guys can probably <laughs> imagine. So uh, I've read some of those that you yeah. have talked about. This I just one? got the 10X one. Really? Mm -hmm. Was that great Carmel? Yeah, yeah, I have the audio. Get out of here. Yeah, so I listen to them all the time. My man. Well, this, this is the part where I plug the affiliate link for the audio books, right? Yep. <laughs> It's not about the links, guys, okay? Just, I'm just having fun and making it available to you. Uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just a lot of fun giving back to you guys. But yeah, absolutely. I've had, I've had good people pour into me and it just feels uh, refreshing pouring back into you guys. And you know, there's always a, uh, some people that like to flame and troll and, and hate, and that's cool. That's it, part of the internet and the, and the YouTube community. Yeah. And that's gonna be out there. But you know what? Uh, when I get text messages and emails and dozens and dozens of Instagram messages and, and uh, phone calls even, and uh, all this other jazz about helping people. Guys, that's what it's all about. If you guys can't read between the lines already, it's not about the money. It, it never will be about the money. I couldn't care less. Uh, we make enough with our lawn and landscape company and other businesses that we do to provide for the bills. Mm -hmm. So this is a, literally a labor of love. Will we make money? Sure. But guys, it's, it's just so fun, rewarding, uh, getting that interaction with all of you guys, making relationships and friendships. And by the way, you guys gotta come down to GIE, meet me, meet Mark, and all this other stuff because that's where we're going to be this October. So yeah, absolutely, man. I, yeah. A, 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 a guilty, personal, selfish goal would be like 100,000 subs within like two years. You know, that's, that's, I want a silver play button like Stanley. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's a whole other level. So yeah, I think that's, that's pretty I, cool. That's where I look, like to be too. Absolutely. Well, we'll both get there together. So let me ask you this. What's, so you're, you're at seven, 8,000 subs. Where are you at right now? 
I am, let's see, I'm at 8,300, wow. somewhere in there. Okay, more yeah. than one. So than the, that. probably like the thing that I'm probably the most proud of is actually my total video views is over 6 million. So <laughs> I wanted to do a video, I didn't get around to it, but the Steve Austin, the $6 million man. Oh my God. I was yeah, gonna get yeah, that yeah. intro, like he's the $6 million man. Dude. And so, so, um, That's I actually Googled like what an audience of 6 million people looks like. There you go. And I was thinking, imagine just, like this field sea. of people, sea of people, yeah. just talking to them all at once, how daunting that would be. But, right, right, right. Um, That's pretty cool. Yeah. Six, so. I, here I am thinking I'm big time. Like, I don't yeah. have the subscribers, I have the views, the video views, but I, I have done... That's, that's pretty good. I've done a lot of reviews, but I've also done some how-tos as well along okay. the way. Those have been, it's been very rewarding to yeah. Yeah. have somebody that... Um, has said, oh, thanks so much. I you know, was so frustrated with this stupid thing on there and, and now I figured it out it's so easy. I watch your video. Absolutely. Um, back when you were talking about trolls, I had this thought yeah. that uh, came back to me. One of the things that I find rewarding is, you know, it, it, it's frustrating having trolls on there, but sometimes you kind of get the thicker skin for it. You just know that that's gonna be part of it. Sure. You see some really great YouTubers, the, some real famous ones, and you'll see the trolls on what they're doing and, and hear how they respond to it. Yep. And the one thing that uh, when I was at GIE, I was talking with Stanley, yeah. the dirt monkey there, and we were talking about trolls and some frustrations. And he said, what's really great is when your audience will speak up for you. Sure. And you just kind of let that with that comment yep. that someone said, let that lie there for a little bit. And then like one of your, the people in your group, well, when they come up and they go to bat for you, absolutely. it's the greatest thing just to have people that will... I think that's awesome. That's a, that's a great point. It's, that's called community, if you think yeah, about it. Because yeah, it you guys have my back and I have yours. I, I would do anything for almost any one of you guys and uh, shout outs and this and that and, you know, and working with you guys and phone calls. But it's funny uh, knowing that you guys have my back. When somebody uh, commented, can I share a personal story? Somebody, sure. somebody commented on one of my videos uh, on my truck video. Not, not a bad truck considering that it's grandpa's money. And I just kind of was laughing at that because as most of you guys know, if you haven't watched, uh, and if you're watching this far, most of you guys probably know my story that uh, the trailer that I lived in doesn't even cost as much as my truck. My, my personal new truck, work truck, costs more than the home I grew up in. So when, when we say like we came from no money, uh, that's how I know it's never gonna go to my head because we didn't have it. Now that we have it, it hasn't changed anything and I couldn't care less. Uh, we just love giving back. So the, I appreciate all you guys that always have uh, my back on the channel and other people's back. So that's, that's pretty cool, that's a great point. On the rear chance that you guys have not subscribed to his channel make sure you do he's got a great youtube channel uh instagram what's your instagram as well mark thomas builder mark, yeah builder is abbreviated bldr okay. mark thomas bldr we'll make sure to leave a link in the description maybe a fancy little flash thing whatever we can do here if you guys haven't done it already make sure you hit the subscribe button and definitely shoot this video a big thumbs up uh it's a little bit different video but i wanted to hang out with my friend mark here and uh just hang out and talk a little bit more about youtube and uh, unboxing and reviews and kind of how to get started with all of it so hopefully this video made some sense hopefully you guys enjoyed it we'll catch up with you guys on the next one mark thanks again brother thank cool. you appreciate it awesome all right guys we'll catch you on the next one Bye bye bye